everybody. In this video, we're going to be going over how to find the area of this banana inside here. This video is going to be reviewing some AP Calculus topics, which may help those who are planning to take the test soon. It may be good review. Alright, so the banana here that we're trying to find the area of is the area, as you can see, between these two graphs here, right? All we need to do is find the area between the graphs. Well, how do we do that? Formula for the area between two graphs is the integral going from A to B of the top graph, which I'm going to call f of x minus the bottom graph. I'm going to just call it g of x for now. dx. When we write integral, we want to have dx. Okay? So that is our formula, and we want to use that to find the area. So let's note it. Let's look. What do we need? So notice how there's these a and b here. This a and b. What are those a and b values? Well, those a and b values are the two endpoints where the two graphs intersect. So it'll be here. That'll be our A, and that will be our B. Well, notice how on the graph, it's not perfectly on a point. So how will we find those points? If we set the equations equal to each other, we will find where they meet up. Okay, so let's set it equal to each other. All right. So now what I'm going to do, there are various methods to do this, to find the X's. But I am going to subtract th 3 over x to both sides, and I, which will leave us with this. And that will let us leave us with equaling it to 0. So now I'm going to use a graphing calculator for this, because this is pretty complex to do by hand. So I'm going to do graphing calculator. I'm going to graph it. And then once I graph it, I'm going to find the root of the zero of that graph. So graphing this equation here. All right. So when you graphed the equation, the zeros that you should have gotten are 0 0.505 and 4.626. So this 0 0.505 will be our A value and our B value will be the 4.626. Let's rewrite the integral. So from A to B, so it's from 0 0.505 to 4.626. Let's write our equations into the integral. So our top equation, so the first equation always has to be the equation that's on top, the line, and this is this red line. You can see the red line is negative 1 fourth x plus 6. So let's write that. Negative one fourth. Oh, uh, sorry. Negative one fourth x squared plus six. And then minus the bottom function, which in this case is three over x. So minus three over x. And then whenever you do integral, you always have to write dx. So now we have this equation for our integral to solve our area. And now let's just solve it. So y I know you can do integrals on calculators, on graphing calculators, which is the easier way to do it. But for some problems on the AP exam, you will not be able to use a calculator and you have to do integral by hand. So let's for practice try to do this integral by hand. So let's integral what's inside. So remember, whenever you integral something, you raise it to the power, you raise it to one power higher and then divide by that new power. For example, our negative one fourth squared. It is squared. So we rewrite the th expression, but instead of a squared, we're going to write, we're going to add the power by one. So instead of two, it becomes three. And then we divide by the new exponent and that becomes three or oh, three on the denominator. 
second one second one is just a constant whenever you never you integrate a constant you just add the variable next to it so in this variable for this equation is x plus 6x x minus 3 over x so this is the same thing as 3x to the negative 1 right but if you integrate it and add 1 to it you get 0 and then if you divide by 0 you can't do that right so what is the integral of x to negative 1 what well, integral of x to negative 1 is ln x okay so our integral in this case would be 3 ln x and now instead of having this integral showing our a and b values our endpoints we're going to write it on the right side because we're going to have to plug these values in after so now this negative one fourth can be divided by three can be simplified to negative one twelfth and now what do we do so now we plug in the four point six two our top value and we plug in our bottom value and then we subtract them by each other we plug them into this integralized equation so let's plug in the 4.26 uh, sorry 4.626 first oops so this negative 1 4 3 is negative 1 12 so we plug it in for x so this 4.626 goes into the x that's cubed plus 6 to the x the x is 4.626 minus 3 ln of 4.626 all right and now remember we have to subtract that all subtract it all by plugging in 0 0.505 into this expression into this equation so I'm gonna make sure you write a parenthesis around everything since we're subtracting everything inside so now it'll be negative 1 12th 0 0.505 cubed plus 6 times our x value which is 0 0.505 here minus 3 ln 0 0.505 sorry I forgot to mention this earlier but when you integrate 3 over x the ln has to have an absolute value around it okay that is important because you cannot find the natural log of a negative number so the absolute value has to be there always okay just so you know so now we have our equation you like this look a little neater and now let's just plug it into our calculator to find out our final value I'm plugging this in you should have gotten that the area is equal to 9.896 okay so that is the area of the banana that we were looking for so thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and see you next time bye